I read this article on the internet about uh, Kim Kardashian's marriage that NBA scrub player she hooked up with a while ago. And it blew my mind when I found out how much money she made off of it. And the total value of that marriage to this NBA scrub player was worth nearly $18 million. $18 million for a marriage that lasted 72 days. That includes broadcast rights, ad revenue, all the free stuff she got from the wedding, plus the discounts on some of the other stuff, including a $2 million wedding ring. That, that is some serious money right there. I mean, her marriage may have been a joke, but not the, the shameless motives and her attitude towards this whole this whole marriage thing. And therein lies the problem with this whole fiasco. Not the fact that it even lasted that long, but even with all the money and the publicity she made off of it, she couldn't even be bothered to stick around long enough to make this thing even remotely credible. Or to keep it from being from being scrutinized, you know, and all these little attention whoring whoring methods that she used to, to get publicity is only making things worse now. You know, she returns to L.A. and the paparazzi shows up at the right place at the right time. Oh, what a coincidence! You know, and she, she go she not now she's going to her ex husband's house just to reconcile, and the same thing happens. Paparazzi just happens to be there. It's not like no one. It's not, it's not like none of her reps tipped them off or anything. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, pr I'm a pretty cool guy when it comes to this. I don't, I wouldn't have a problem with this because it's, you know, it's just, it's part of reality TV, it's part of entertainment, it's what she does for a career. I, I wouldn't have a big problem with it, but when it comes to things that should be priceless to you, you know, things such as family and friends and marriage, and especially. You, what if, what if she has kids? I mean, she's going to sell them out too, just like she sold herself out? I mean, when those things don't matter to you, except just to make money, then it becomes a problem. Nobody's going to take you seriously because you don't take anything seriously. Unless there's money involved. And then when the truly precious things in life, the things that cannot be defined by money, when those things don't matter to you, to you, you don't matter to anyone. Because you become ultimately what you sought out to make, an expendable, an expendable commodity that can be shaped and molded and abused and ultimately, ultimately disposed of by anybody. This, this should serve as a warning of sorts to anyone who makes money the primary concern of their lives. And that goes for the rich, the poor, the people on Wall Street, and even the people protesting Wall Street. This goes for anyone and anyone. At any point in their lives, when money matters most to you and nothing else, you become nothing. And when you become nothing, you become Kim Kardashian.